A number of institutions, including the International Monetary Fund, have slashed South Korea's growth outlook for this year to the 2% range. The latest to join the list is the OECD, adding to concerns the country is falling into a low growth trap. Hwang Jie with the details. Releasing its survey on Korea on Monday, the OECD cut Korea's 2016 growth outlook to 2.7%. The downgrade marks a 0.4 percentage point cut from its previous outlook. For next year, the organization expects Korea to grow 3 percent, also down 0.6 percentage points from its earlier projection. The OECD cited the aging population and slumping exports as risks the Korean economy is facing. It also pointed to the rapid rise in household debt and the slowing Chinese economy as factors that could further dent the country's growth. The head of OECD's Korea desk, Randall Jones, adds that Korea has room for expansionary fiscal and monetary policies to rev up the economy, although such short-term boosts cannot be a cure-all for tackling the low growth trend. And Korea has a very strong fiscal position. If you compare Korea to other OECD countries, uh, by our measure of the global, the general government, Korea is in a surplus. And most OEC countries are in deficit. So far, Korea's credit account surplus has been very large, and the capital outflows have been relatively small. So I don't see that as a, a serious uh, constraint at the moment. So I think there would be room for uh, lower interest rates as well. To he also emphasized a need for a reduction in the amount of red tape in the service sector, which has lower productivity than the manufacturing sector, as well as a decrease in the number of obstacles blocking women's employment to raise the country's growth potential. Hwang Jie, Arirang News.